Hello. Hello. Hello and welcome. Welcome back. Come okay. on in here. Yeah, this Say is what's up. exciting. It is. Here we are. Were you able to watch much of the Super Major? A little bit. A little bit. It, it did work out well with the time that after a day of like some of the power. It was like 7 to 12. It was great. I could like watch it up on my second monitor while like closing out the day and then getting ready to go to bed. I would miss a chunk of the day because it's just the hours are crazy here for in the States, but I did get to see a little bit. So Dakota ventured into the wonderful world of the FGC. I cheated on Dota. That's right. And I cheated. I mean, you are a long, long standing FGC player. Yeah. You uh you you own a stick a I fight own stick a stick yes a couple uh, of sticks I only own GameCube controllers myself so but you know you didn't get to see much of it so this is gonna be exciting for you it is it is uh, gonna be exciting I watched and, uh, almost everything this may be is this the last show priority of season one you'd say because this is the final DPC event this could be like the closing season oh, of shit. show priority it really might be one. the last one I don't know there might be there might be events coming up I don't know yeah. there might be events in the I mean, we may we may have an event, so who knows? Oh, right, goodness! I don't there know. it is. I don't know, um, right. but <laughs> but uh, we'll see. This is know, supposed to be the is, biggest, though. This is, for the stuff I haven't seen. I'm except I'm, I want super stuff because this is the super major, right? This is supposed to be the creme of the creme. Yeah, the, I the mean, the king is the biggest event on the whole DPC block. I gotta say, no spoilers because everyone obviously watched the super major already, but. It lived up to a lot of the hype. Uh, let me just put it that way. This, I mean, you, this, you're definitely like I imagine. I this event going into did not, they, they knew they had expectations. Yeah, they, they had not, to meet. Uh, you have the didn't. most points. You have the most money, and the most time. It's there at the bottom of the DPC. Like you have the time to prepare. So. They did not leave me disappointed. Uh, if that if if that's anything to you know say about it. But before we get into it, actually. We need to talk a little bit about the Dota news that's been going on lately. Okay. Um, so we had a lot of stuff happen mm -hmm. since our last podcast. Uh, yep. The patch, to name a few things. Uh, we're not going to really go over the patch. It's like mostly hero changes. Yeah. Um, I, I think that's probably been debated to death among... Do we ones. know, have they said if that is going to be like the final hero change-up patch before TI? Uh, qualifiers might, starting in the, a it's day? Gonna, obviously before qualifiers, but I don't know if he's going to patch before TI. Okay. Um, it might. Um, all right, but uh, we got to talk about the invites. This this is a uh, hot topic, you know. It is a system we, had been laid out. Yeah, can we? Uh, do we have the what's the official kind of like announcement? Shout out slash to Kevin in production for joining us yeah. on this morning. Just the DPC, uh, the DPC standings is probably enough because I know the the distribution. Kevin has that. I don't know if he's had his coffee. Oh, I told him. I snapped told him. at you with a it's what up, you it's want. Up <laughs> it's up there. Uh, okay. Okay. Wait, we got it on the front. We got it on the front. I can't. I think the stream, that means the stream can see it. Okay, sure. the stream can see it. All right. So, so, so I we, mean, know that, we know the eight, eight teams that got invited. Crazy. It's that a lot of the expected teams, you know, the teams that were up there at the peak halfway yeah. through the season are still there at the top. So the teams that, that, that okay, there we go. All right. So. We had, oh. Inception. Inception. All right. Uh, so let me see. The so, uh, eight teams that got invited. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin is in like some of the power switching mode right now, and he's like, "Well, hold on, I gotta pull it back right. a bit." So the the controversial thing, obviously, is that NA got three slots. So it's NA yeah. three slots. Southeast Asia, two slots. Yeah. Europe, one slot. Mm -hmm. CIS, one slot. Mm. China, two slots. Mm. South America, one slot. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay. So th that's, that's, that, that's the outline. And so look at the invites. Look at the invites here. Who are they? Where do they come from? Yeah. What are they all about? Virtus Pro, king of all. They get a ridiculous 12.3K worth of points. Yes. The next closest is Liquid, who just won the Super Major, yeah. and they're still behind them by a decent margin. Correct. So then after that, LGD, Secret, Mineski, Fiji Gaming Newbie, and Thunder. So really maybe down there at the bottom, the Thunder creeping in is probably one of the big surprises, but almost there upward. But Thunder got their points early in the season, all. right? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside of that, you know, 
not too surprising. Maybe if Optic were able to, you know, just get those little bit of points and creep into the top eight, this would have been like a, a pretty Optic had two series, two series that they could have won. Yeah, that both against VP. Oh God, that, that tweet by Ramsey's afterward. Just yeah. no mercies. He's like, good luck in qualifiers. I mean, okay, look, <sighs> I think Optic has a very good chance of making TI. Um, you know, they don't have to play in opens. They there's three slots. Yeah, and they only I need mean, to make one of them. It's like who they have to lose to every. NA team like they have to lose to EG, they have to lose to VTJ Storm, and then they have to lose to another team. And and Optic's probably one of the best teams in NA. I was so. looking at the list of you know notable open qualifier teams yeah. on that top Reddit post. And lose I didn't Mike. even recognize half those teams. So it's like whoa! I, I heard that even like Blue Pikachu had disbanded and such. Like the, the potential notables. Like, it. Do you agree that with NA having three slots now? That qualifier is just not as hype. Let's okay. Let's let's first talk about the arguments. Okay. Really quickly. I think let's start why, with that first argument. Yeah. First okay. argument: why there should be three slots. Okay. And that is that there are many NA teams positioned highly nine to twenty. Okay. So okay. those people are talking about we got number nine, we got Optic, ten eleven, Vici Storm. we got EG, and then ten VG Storm. Oh, ten yeah. VG Storm. Of and and Optic and VGJ Storm obviously came on very strongly mm -hmm. towards the end of the season. So mm -hmm. very recent events, Optic got second, got, you know, uh, fourth. They're definitely got, they won a minor, you know, it's like if, if the D DPC season was the last six months, Optic yeah. is it, yeah. you know? So I'm not surprised that NA has two slots. The For third sure. slot is what people are debating. Yeah, that slot, a lot of people are saying that slot could have just been gifted over to CIS or it, even Europe. So the argument for the third slot is essentially that the math that Knoxville and presumably what the Valve Glico, is, the math is that <laughs> there that it is pretty close, but that it the math indicates that it could be three slots if you go off of this standing, okay. like the, by the percentage of points that are, and but the argument against it okay. is essentially that you shouldn't base the uh, the slot allocation on the teams that did not make top eight because there is an uneven distribution of invites. Um, you know, a bunch of other stuff about, you know, certain strong teams taking a qualifier slot from a region, which I, I don't really buy that much because VP was almost never in qualifiers. Yeah. So, uh, that's true. But, you know, I think the, a lot of the hate or the, uh, debate is centered around the wrong argument. The, uh, argument should be between the second China slot and a potential second CIS slot. Yeah. I mean, not the third NA slot, which, you know, I think that's largely because people want to meme around EG. I think they very EG deservedly got some flack for the kind of subpar results, the roster switching, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But ultimately, they are eleventh, um, and people are upset because they believe Valve is being favorites towards EG, giving them a slot, trying to get them to DI because of the viewership or whatever. Valve um, bias. They are a U.S. company. So, correct. You know. So. <laughs> But, you know, I actually think the NA slots are kind of arguable. I think the second Chinese slot versus the second CIS slot is the one that potentially should be for CIS. Now, let me make my argument for China. Okay. Okay. I think that uh, chi China's region um, is like, have you ever, you don't watch The Dark Knight Rises? Yeah, yeah. You know that like pit? Where they're like yeah, fighting. where it has to climb out. It has to climb out of the darkness. And it's like, yeah, That's yeah. Chinese qualifiers. Oh, There's shit. just a shit ton of people down there. And one of the one that comes out is like Bane. Yeah. Because like, you don't know. CSMJ. He comes out. <laughs> he, he, just come, he climbs out. He's like, I was born in the Chinese qualifiers. And he's like, <laughs> Rex TI. Yeah. Like CDEC, remember CDEC? Yep, yep. Remember E-Home? These teams mm -hmm. have like, they're not even not even the first slot from, from China. The second slot from China coming out just destroying. So... Some random team from China. I don't know. Keen or Is it going to be more random IG. now because of that whole thing about, you know, you can't own multiple teams and they're the same org or whatever it that's is? For next, that's for next time. It was, that only applies the next time. Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so whatever, mm. whatever team comes out of qualifiers in China, it's going to be real strong. Yeah. I mean, there's no denying that for sure. Yeah. So, but is most people in agreement then that to get the extra slot, it would be long to CIS and not Europe at all? 
No, Europe, Europe really is just really yeah, dry right now. Europe has the two the two best teams in Europe are just in. Maybe Valve so. were like secretly hoping there could have been some sort of like dark horse at Super Major. I mean, I was really surprised to look at the results and be like, that is where we stand in DPC essentially. Like, yep. it's not like it's exactly you know, it's not like uh, Spirit had some crazy run to make it to upper bracket let's say if that was the case maybe they'd give something or final well, tribe LG, LGD somehow beating stepped DP up. was a big deal i think yeah 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 um, but I, I think like you know you're looking at you're looking at navi you're looking at fly to moon fly to moon had decent uh results for like one or one or two tournaments but it wasn't the most recent one and then also um you know team spirit was there and yeah you know, i mean i think like it is a little surprising that there was just really no dark horse. There was no, th no one to creep into that real top four, top yeah. five, top six block even of this event to be like, hey, we came out of nowhere. We came from the yeah, qualifiers remember, remember or whatever. This guy? Age of Steel guy? Yeah. I mean, th th there's yeah, that? that team. 18? Yeah. See you in qualifiers. Good, yeah, luck IG. In that, good luck in that pit. Yeah, IG, uh, potentially. Yeah. Uh, then you got Keen. You got a few other teams. So, you know, I see it's arguable. Uh, and also, if Optic were to uh, make it in, pretty much without a doubt, NA would have only gotten the two spots, right? I think so. Yeah. Um, I bet that was secretly like the dream case for Valve. If, if they're Optic watching, they're in, like, if they're like, oh, Optic is now going two, to the Super Major. It'd be two, two, two. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Which would have been, been a lot less controversial. Yeah. Um, here is my hot take on NA qualifiers. Hot take. All right. Um, one of those teams is not going to make TI. I feel the same way. <laughs> I feel the same way. One of those teams is not making it out. I mean, complexity, complexity yeah. Complexity is someone's going to just high. creep in I know and it. cut them I down. I know it. For one sure. of, one yeah, of yeah, those yeah. teams is going to lose complexity. I am with you. Or the, or the Im Koreans. Immor Immor yeah, the Immortals. Koreans. Dude. I mean, yeah. And I love it's that Jamar Luna is always like, don't forget Immortals. And it's like, come on. Everyone forgot Immortals, dude. They haven't been at like any of these events. But I'm not going to take away that they could certainly pull out some crazy upsets, some crazy Korean shit for sure. Because so, they do it every TI. Yeah. So they say they won't at least snipe a spot, make it to TI, and then we'll see how they do. Yeah. So the the, um, the exciting part about qualifiers is that every region has a very, very, very interesting storyline, and there's a lot of things to lose. Not necessarily to gain, a lot of crazy stuff to lose. And I think, I think Dota players actually thrive off of the negative drama more than the positive one rightly or rightly or not you know it'd be nice if everything was sunshine and rainbows but people love it when super teams or teams that are supposed to be good lose that's yeah. like actually more hype almost than a random team winning like in the nba finals when the warriors were supposed to win and they lost to the Cavs, they lost their 3-1 lead that was like the biggest event in yeah. nba kind of like they like like when KD joined the warriors yeah that was like a big a big deal because it was a huge negative news for pretty much the entire league people want to see it fail yeah so like a really good team failing affects more fans yeah than a random just, team winning that's just human instinct like the daytona people want to see it crash exactly. they don't want to see him win they want to see a daytona car crash pile up that they were a part of that experience exactly. like i was there on youtube i saw the tire kill the lady yeah. you know I think just naturally that comes with sports too. So in most esports too. So that's the biggest drama. But if we go through all the regions, they all have that drama. And I'll t we can start. We'll leave NA last because that's the most drama. Oh, that's but, obvious. So China is the least drama, I think. Uh huh. Any teams can make it, and no team is really a huge favorite. Yeah, the only okay. drama is if there's like some secret Chinese mob match fixing happening in qualifiers we don't know about. But yeah, you know, we'll leave that to the dark lords. Yeah, so that's that's whatever. China two yeah. slots. Whatever team, just look out for whatever team comes out of there. Yeah, for um, sure. So that's that's whatever. C, two slots, mm -hmm. two very big favorites, and if either one of those two teams do not make it in, it is a huge deal. It TNC is. TNC and Fnatic. I think there's a lot more pressure on Fnatic. I think, uh, you know, Universe is on that team, Envy's on that team. If that team doesn't make it, it is a huge kind of big failure for their team, right? Yeah, because I they're would say they're close. So. They're they're twelfth, right? Very close to. Um, and they were also one series yeah, away TNC from... TNC down here at 17th. Yeah, they were they were also one series but away from doing it's it. It's hard so. to imagine a TI without seeing any of these names there, too. I mean, they're always there as kind of the dark horse at these events. Yeah. So it is crazy to think that only one of those teams is going to be at the event. And so, we may see, like, no Envy, no, you know... Yo, I want Envy at TI. At TI. Crazy. Because Envy creates amazing games at TI. Yeah, of usually. course. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We, and some of the biggest games this year even though Fnatic didn't go to as many dpc events as some other teams some of the biggest most memorable moments at the dpc this year were created by Fnatic. the comeback 
you know, the, the underlord. The underlord. Play. I, yeah. They're they're crazy. That created so, the 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 most popular chat wheel line that's being used in the book right now. So yeah, definitely so, entertaining games. So that's and, Southeast Asia. Yep. Uh, and there might be some random team that comes up to South Asia. I doubt it. I think this one's going to go according to seed. Who I think else it's is gonna, there, really? Um, Man, because Mesky's already in, obviously. Scroll but down. There's probably. Down, it, I know. don't know if the neck, if there even is points by another Southeast Asia uh, team. No. no. Echo International. That don't count. Who's that? No, no, no. They Crazy. disbanded a while ago. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So some other potential yeah, so hungry team. Pretty sure that, uh, you know, they're going to beat. Execration or whoever, First and they're gonna, yeah, and they're gonna they're <laughs> gonna get it. So that's you know second on the drama tier list is China, no drama. See some drama. Then I think it's Southeast Asia or so- South America. South America okay. because it was just Payne's gonna win free. Yeah, but we got Fear and Kyle down there. Oh yeah, I heard about this news. I didn't actually scope it out yet though. Can we can we pull up? Uh, can you click on Melons really quick right there? Yeah, uh, Melons on complexity. Was not sure. I think he was so he almost is, originally slotted to come out and commentate qualifiers, and suddenly the man's playing in it. Does, did, did, did Liquipedia update this? Maybe. I guess they didn't. Did not? No, okay, no, so no. Kyle, Fear, Timato, and two other guys which, uh, whose names escape me right now um, are, they are South playing in South American Open qualifiers. Now, that means Kyle will not be joining us for the hub, unfortunately. Um, but what does that mean? How does that make people feel if they snipe the spot with this like hybrid team i mean poor pain i guess kyle is part hispanic so oh so it's legit no i'm just kidding i don't know <laughs> i don't know but <laughs> melons it's uh, it, their team has south american <laughs> players it's not just five na players going down there and just sniping the spot it's it's much it's like uh three i think three south american players and fear and kyle fear and um, kyle together on a team that's never happened before right you're yeah. listening to Kyle. That blows my mind. Oh yeah. Uh No, it's uh so the exciting part about this is that it's like um 1437 going to Southeast Asia yep. or um you know Demon going to TNC. There's a lot of mechanical and just really good skill in that region. They just don't have a captain. Mm-hmm. And I think that you know, they're just going to listen to, like, Kyle's going to make calls or Fear's yeah. going to make calls. They're just going to listen to him. It's yeah. going to be exciting. Yeah. And I do, while I do not think they are the favorite against Pain, I think Pain is actually an overwhelming favorite. Didn't Pain beat Liquid at... Yeah, Pain's, yeah, Pain's got a good thing Pain's going, good. for sure. Yeah. So, but we're all going to watch. The, if the final is Fear and Kyle and Timato and two guys very, versus very Pain... I'd be very surprised if that's that not is, the final. Ooh, very surprised that is, if that's that is spicy. not the final. And can you imagine Kyle getting kicked from Complexity and making T.I.? And, and then complexity, complexity and not. EG both not making TI. What if complexity does make TI and then they have to like match up at TI? I mean, well, that'd, that'd be pretty heavy too. Okay, let's let's that's double down. drama. Let's not double get, jeopardy, let's not double drama. Ourselves. Someone gets booted and we get that matchup. Right. I'll take it. So China, C, mm-hmm. South America. Yep. Okay. Then I think the the drama is CIS. Really, I would say that if you're going from least drama to most drama, I think s- most people are saying CIS not getting the spot is pretty dramatic, but. No, but the, the the qualifier itself. Okay. Because it's between Navi. Yep. Which always creates a lot of drama. But Navi, I I mean, like they haven't looked good for a while. Yeah, they so, did not show up at this super yeah. major. So Navi, I think Navi actually has the least chance out of Navi, uh, Spirit, um, mm-hmm. and uh, what's it called? Uh, who's who? What the hell was, what was what was the other team? I forgot. We were just talking about them. Empire? No. No. Um. Can you go to the DPC standings again, really quick? Um, Vega? No, we were just we were just talking about them. It wasn't it wasn't Team Spirit. It was I can't believe I'm forgetting the what? Uh, Fly to Moon, Fly to Moon. Holy crap! Okay. Oh, um, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I, I actually think uh, that those three teams for one slot is like pre actually pretty close and exciting. Yeah, that's crazy. Can you imagine if Navi wins? Yeah, I can't believe I forgot Fly to Moon. Um, and then. They Navi winning would be the like, hypest kind of thing. That would be um, crazy if they make it out. Yeah, the hypest storyline is Navi winning and then Lil playing against VP at TI. That would be the Ooh. that'd be the the hype. I but, think for the lore and for the hype, yeah, Navi is best case scenario to win. But I also don't think I would put my money on them to win. Yeah, so. I don't I don't believe in any of those teams really at TI. Um, other than VP, I, I, this region is, you know. 
it's, I don't know. it's a struggle right yeah. now. So that, you know, three teams, one slot, pretty exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, then we have EU. Now, yeah. I think I'm curious the, about this one because yeah. I'll be honest, like Europe, I, I can't even count. <laughs> I can't even fill up one hand of teams that no, are going to be in there. So I'm anxious to so, see. Yeah, hit hit Europe. Um, and I think... Uh, so here's the exciting part about this, okay? Before the roster changes happened, OG was almost an overwhelming favorite to take Europe. Uh-huh. Okay? Um, but now that they're, they've are they made their switch, y- you have pretty exciting potential for a final here. Since they only have one slot... Um, this is Kingwin, I think. Um, Kingwin, and then also the Misery Soxa uh, team. I don't actually know the rest Who of the roster. Who did OG f- replace? It was Thompson and Anna, I believe. Anna's back on OG. Yes. Oh. Okay. And playing one, I believe. And Thompson's two. Okay. Um, and I think Seb is three. I'm guessing. Whoa. All yeah. right. Interesting. And then you got Alliance, a Lodalus Alliance. A um, Lodalus Alliance. Do you know the memes that would come out if they made TI without Loda? <laughs> do, like, what if they make it, it would out be... and Navi make it out? That yeah, would be crazy. That would be crazy. So this is exciting because um, you got OG, newly formed OG. Who, um, you got Alliance. Mm-hmm. You have, which is just for the memes. You know, we have no idea if that team's Where's good. Where's Final or Tribe at? Um, this is the notable participants in opens, I believe. Oh, Final Tribe's in closed. Fi- Final Tribe is already in the, okay, the closed. Okay. Uh, this is not the page for because this doesn't have Kingwin either. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay. And, you know, you'll have uh, Final Tribe, you'll have Kingwin, you'll have OG, you'll have a bunch of those teams to potentially get that one slot. It will be very, very tense. This is why I think it's more drama than the CIS region. There's like more teams that could win and more teams with a lot to lose. Like OG has a lot to lose. Yeah, from multiple yeah. major winners. I would honestly not be surprised if they, major. Don't make it out of this. if they don't make it out of this. I'd be like, I mean, I think I don't think they have that great of a chance, honestly. I don't either. I would don't you either. take OG or the field? You'll definitely take the field. I think. Yes, I, would. I don't think they have a 50, so that means they have a less than fifty percent chance of making it out. I mean, EG's like struggling right now to make their what seems like a pretty damn stacked team work. Like they're already in a, like a recalibration mode to figure out what what is their groove. Like OG's gonna need that same time, and it it just comes at the worst time ever. Like yeah. this is a uh, shark infested waters of an open qualifier. Yeah. I would be really surprised to see them make it out somehow. If they do, and they look dominating, even then it will still be a challenge in close qualifiers. I yeah. think. Yeah. And then the last and best and most drama there is is obviously North America. Um, can you actually scroll to uh, the teams that are invited yeah. to the close qualifiers? Whatever team. Yeah, there we of go. the big three, so, so doesn't make it out. <laughs> if <laughs> of the big three of Optic, uh, EG, and uh, oh my God, why is the other scroll, scroll down? Look at that! Look at that! How, wait, by the way, how are three teams going to qualify from open qualify? Do they have a third place match? How's that even going to happen? I don't know. How do they? How do you get a third place match? What? How how do you, how does three teams make it out? I don't get it. Okay. Uh, we'll see about that. But yeah, they might have those like two teams are invited. Can you hover match. over Immortals really quick? I just want to see the roster. Okay, yeah. See, that team's scary. Even though they haven't had any results all year, you look at that team, you're like, oh shit. I mean, you yeah, know? they could snipe your spot for sure. Yeah, they come in with some unorthodox, non-meta strat that you're just yeah, you're just not ready for. With. Yeah, they'll just rush you down, and you're like, well, damn. <laughs> so, the reason why this is uh, big is because uh, hit the hit back and go to the close qualifiers. Um. Check out the names that are in yeah. the opens. Now I did hear that Blue Pikachu is disbanded, so ignore that. There is a there is an iteration of Leviathan, like BSJ Jenkins, I think Nushim as well, yeah. fighting it's, their way through. It's entirely possible that EG, even VTJ Storm, I lose a best of right. one. I don't think that's right. Yeah, that that's not. That's right. not right. Uh-oh. I don't even know how serious that team is either. This is like a. Ve- I heard that this team is like a veggie sports kind of team. Right. Yeah, we'll s- we'll see. But the drama is essentially: Can EG make TI? If EG don't, Storm don't. If Optic don't, any of those they're going to be. Are, yeah, they're yeah. just going to be lynched. I think the community is uh, going to lynch them. Well, <laughs> they're going to cast them into the pit. I think it's very unlikely Optic does not make it. Yeah, well, I would I'm say, just saying like any of those teams, like they're going to hear. Yeah. 
the bad end of the EU bat on Reddit for sure. Yeah. They're gonna just they're gonna be tortured. Like you guys got three sauces and you couldn't make it in. They're gonna, I think Whoa. I think uh, I think EG of those teams actually has the least chance um, because they're totally up in the air right now. Yeah, right now they're still figuring it out. So you know? we're gonna those get two teams have been get, together and working. Gonna it. just hit me with the viewership. Oh. Yeah. I I'm mean, people are going to watch. People yeah. are going to be like, oh, man, show me how bad you are. Yeah. People are going to want to see EG lose in the opens. But then there's people like Grand Grant, and there's a lot of people who still like EG who would be like, all right, guys, pull back. And Yo, if they we need... do manage to do it, I think there'd still be a strong set of supporters pushing them forward. Like, like good shit. guys, I know you want EG to lose. I know a lot of people do. But... How much drama would there be if EG made TI? Like, it would be so much better. God, how crazy of a story would be if they went on and won TI? You know what I mean? I don't... I, I mean, and then, and then they launch into space. You know, we might we as well just imagine crazy things, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. We'll see. I'm definitely not going to think that big of a picture. But, yeah, I don't know. If it was... Mm, I, I still have a hard time deciding if it was, like, a two-slot deal... If that would be that would be much more intense, obviously. It would be, but be I so much more intense. I think that getting the TI for EG would make the most fun. That would be so much fun. RTZ playing in front of the home Canadian crowd. You I'm know, just excited I've... to because I I actually didn't get to see too many of EG's games. Obviously, their run was a bit short. Uh, they did not show very much. I want to see. I, I can't wait to, to cast some of their games. A lot of random and, dying. Uh, watch them live. They they didn't seem to have a good identity. But that's understood because they just got two new players. It's like yeah, it's a bit different. Stuff happens. It's very you know? different now. The, I'm sure the the vibe that <laughs> that fly brings is very different than what EG are used to. Yeah, I mean for sure. I mean we'll see. Uh, but this is probably the most excited I've ever been for qualifiers, um, ever. Yeah. I think more excited than any other year. Uh, that's why we uh, wanted to make sure we are going to be putting on a good show for qualifiers too. Got everyone together to talk about the games. Yeah, talk I'm excited. Woo. Um, and it will be good. Um, so let's let's take some time. So that's, that was about 30 minutes. Let's talk about the Super Major. Super Major. Really quick, some clips. Uh, so we're going to talk about the Super Major now. Um, Put so on by... Uh, PGL. The same group as DAC, right? Essentially, Perfect World, PGL, kind of yeah. hybrid style event. So thing. the reason why I like the... Uh, I'll just... We, didn't, we don't have everything. Um, here in the clips, I just have some quick clips. But first, I want to say that the art style was very directed and thematic throughout the entire thing. The comic book stuff, they had like drawings of the players. They had transitions that were like comic book flipping pages. They had they had like little uh, trading cards that were like yeah, player dude, cards. They, All that stuff. Was they cool. stole my comic book theme idea. I had it in a Google Doc way back for a future summit. But I agree. I love the theme idea. So you were first. Get your royalty check later. All right. Obviously. But I agree. They <laughs> they themed it throughout the whole. Yeah. Thing. It looked amazing. It looked great. I, well, there, there was some things that kind of like irked me a bit. Uh, I think in like the drafting overlay, they did like white on white. And oh was, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. a bit like I didn't like the white on white. I think that's me being nitpicky. Yo, o. outside of that, I felt like the presentation. I actually know this good. font. You know, the font is a little much. It's like Indiana Jones, right? Yeah. That's the Indiana Jones font, really. Yeah. I think it is. Sometimes it looks weird with some of the letter pairings because that's what happens when you. Yeah. So I don't know. Font like that. I, I don't know the order of the clips. So let's just play some stuff. Let's just let's just watch yeah, some yeah, stuff. Yeah. Let's some go. of this I probably scoped. Some of it I probably didn't. So I'm excited. Yep. How do you maintain your positivity like all the time? You're always happy. You're always smiling, and I really feel like it, like kind of infects your teammates in a very positive way. And I'm asking to like make the Dota community a better place. Please share your secret. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's a saying. I'm not sure who said it, but I want to I wanna say, I think it's uh, Emmanuel Kant. He said that uh, worry is a misuse of imagination, so that's what I use ah. on a daily basis. I think that he, like uh, being upset or having some negative energy or negative feelings is all connected to your mind playing tricks on you I feel like being positive is the way to go and you shouldn't be affected but by anything that's going on everything can be dealt with and life just goes on okay so I love it. thank you um cool the cool setup so uh let's play the other clip really quick that's also in that category where the, of interviews um, all those things for our team we talked on the panel how the mid matchup is really important that CCNC does not solo die in that lane. You did manage to kill him twice, so 
What do you think about the matchup? How hard was it to play against CCNC in the mid? Uh, no comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's Volba. Something else we talked about on panel. No, okay. Volba obviously so baiting for like that's, the E. <laughs> that's two, uh, so that's two really fun moments from post-game interviews. Yeah. I yeah. think the big change here is they don't have the guy on stage, one person just asking questions. Yeah. It's the whole analyst panel, and they're thinking um, for about this the whole time. Yep. So they have good questions, mm -hmm. fun questions, yep. and they're talking to a whole group, so it's more fun, it's more lively, it's less like just what you and an interviewer you have no relationship with, you're just kind of like, okay? This was a big change and very, um, I, I, I don't think they're the only tournament to do this, obviously, mm -hmm. but it is a really good way to do interviews because it creates moments that are different than a normal person. After after the game on stage, you're just kind of like, whatever. Yeah, you know? no, I agree. I think this interview style um, definitely suits best. And there's a lot of clips like that where people are saying really fun stuff and cool things after the game is over. And I actually wanted to watch post-game interviews for once. You yeah. Know? Um, so that's that's. I want to say well what done. helps that too yeah. is the people they had involved with it. I mean, both those questions came from Black and from Bulldog. So Correct. we have like yeah. high tier pro you know, they're going to ask the right questions. Yeah. And they're the kind of people when you tell them, like, you're going to have to ask a question, you know, they're going to be thinking about it the whole time and then they're yeah. going to want to come up with something good. And it's not like, imagine if Bulldog was standing next to him with a mic. Oh, that would be terrible. It's not the Th same. Yeah. Like, the way they set it up was really smart. Yeah. Yeah. He's so, already in his comfort zone right there. He just gets to ask it and then watch it through a video. It doesn't have to be on stage in front of the audience and correct. the cameras. So I, I thought that was a really good thing to highlight because this is just... They did great yeah. post game interviews. That's something that's like hard the, to do. Yeah. If you want, to, we can talk about like the panel and stuff. I thought like that panel setup was a big upgrade from DAC. DAC it looked cool and it had some fun themed elements, but it almost felt a little cramped and small. Yeah. I feel like they probably used the same space, but somehow made it look a lot bigger. Yeah. And it so was we just have very a, clean. So Bulldog, you mentioned. Yes. Um, that guy is his own entertaining kind of factor. Um, I think he he has great comedic timing, even though people kind of consider him an idiot. He's getting better. Do you know better. what I mean? He's getting better. Um, he, I thought he was pretty funny. There were some really fun moments. He just does not care, you know. So let's just run kind of a montage of bulldog clips. Oh um, my God, bulldog Profit, fans love Make some plays. Sumail Dota gets a little ball rolling with some exorcisms. Come on now, it's not completely over, is it? It's over. It's over. I All right, perfect. I think this, this I mean, one's going to be so a little quicker easier. than game one. Yeah. yeah. Hold the flight. EG's coming. Green wall. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably let that over to and, Okay, so you'll see a lot of Bulldog saying something and Shiver Dollars, not being able to contain her laughter. Or like these heroes, it, it doesn't, it's not compatible. It doesn't make any sense why they did that. Yeah. So back that, to DP. That, that said, when you were playing Alliance, didn't you use the opportunity of the first game to test a little bit sometimes in a best of three? Yeah, sometimes instead of picking Nature's Prophet, we pick Lone Druid. <laughs> <laughs> I walked straight That's into that great. one, didn't I? I really did just walk straight into that one. Uh, anyway, as you can see, the... Uh Something yeah. that, like, um, it's the next step for every single team mm -hmm. who runs into initial success is that whether or not you're adapt at being able to adapt. Right, you're yeah. being like you have to be able to change up your play style at some point in time. People are going to start looking at you. They're going to start studying you. Yeah. Like Kyle, I, I'm sure you guys have had your fair share when you're on complexity of being kind of figured out at some point in time, right? Like you guys had very defined yeah. play styles, <laughs> and I, certainly not like Bulldog. I mean, Ti3 just play the same heroes and just keep winning. You know? I mean, there's Easy a big peasy. difference yeah. in that situation, oh, right? You when go. you're actually good enough to Bulldog. make a play you style his, work, like, you can just it up. Yeah, his brain's getting ready. That's right, exactly, and. I don't know if you even need to figure out complexity, honestly. You just play normal Dota and you just beat them pretty easily. Yep. But to yep. be fair now, <laughs> maybe Dude. they need you back. Because they're not doing so hard anymore. Yeah, maybe Alliance needs you. I mean, they kicked Loda, so they're primed and ready to actually succeed, right? <gasps> Alrighty then, back to TNC. <laughs> nice, nice, So nice, much nice, damage. Nice. Yeah, they fixed the problem with Hero as well. The problem was that the laning phase was just awful with this Hero. Ten seconds remaining. <laughs> Fingering, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, it's good. All right. God. I think the. Uh, is that all of them? We like that though. So, it's comfortable. It's look, good. You know, I like the right, jabs. So he is like, he's gonna deliver when you set him up. That's yeah. like the the hosts are kind of just like throw it to him. He's gonna do something. Yeah. Whether it's cringy, whether it's bad, whether it's funny, is uh pretty funny. Uh, yeah. I think him and Kyle. They got that whole NA versus not NA kind of thing. Bulldogs it's fun, mean, you know, you know, like people are like, oh, I want to see a sitcom of them together. I'm sure exactly. You know, like, so they've got that fun thing going. I think you know, Admiral Bulldog. I think he's actually quite a good panelist. Um, maybe yeah, not. Maybe not perfect for TI because he's his definitely jokes, leveled up. Yeah, his jokes go over a lot of people's heads sometimes. Mm. Um, as funny as I say that, because you have to really know 
a lot about the history. Yeah. If you're new to Dota and he makes that lone druid profit joke, you actually don't know. Yeah. Right. That's, you're, yeah. you're actually not sure about it. And I'm, and you know, everyone watching this podcast, obviously, I'm like, what are you talking about? Of course, people are gonna know. I actually think a pretty large proportion of the yeah. Dota community. No one's gonna want to show they don't know yeah. either. It's not like I don't know this. Yeah. Like, Get out of here, some, noob. Yeah. Some <laughs> of this history is not the easiest for completely new people, and a mm. lot of people tune in TI that don't necessarily you know, watch and know yeah. all the history of it. So, but for the I super would, major, I would take those though over him just spouting like Twitch emotes. Correct. Which he also was great about not doing, you know, it's yeah. like, he He's might fall back better. on that. So I will yeah. take old gem stories and jokes over spouting cringy yeah. emotes. So and you can see like Kyle couldn't even shoot back at him because Bulldog fucking won yeah. or helped win TI pretty yeah. significantly. Kyle had to take a shot at Loda, his teammate, you know? So, not a lot of stuff you can say back to Bulldog. Yeah, really. or even um, maybe with him. I'm, I'm curious if I could hear, like, the insight of, like, when you got someone like Trent there, who's, you know, pretty good established analyst in his own right, but then you got, like, Bulldog on that panel next to you, you know, are you kind of second-guessing what you want to say and stuff like that? Yeah, Trent that, had a really you know? funny funny clip. I, I forget. Uh, I don't think I have it in the list, but basically they were talking about um, someone, um, I think it was Frost, coming from um, from uh uh, Khan. Yeah. Like, oh, one of the best Khan players is coming over. Yeah. And Trent, Trent's like, yeah, I can't wait to panel with him. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. That but was, there's definitely was, was people funny. stuff that Trent brings that like maybe Bulldog or even Kyle won't. Like they're the kind of people who like study the book hard. They can name all the other teams and players while you'll hear pros come up and go, I don't even know who's on this team like, from China or something like yeah. that. So yeah. there, it's not like you know, we need more Bulldogs to replace people like Trent. Like, I think they each had their nice little moments to shine. Like, you can see where Trent, uh, Trent does his study work, and you can see where Bulldog falls back on his experience. So it's Yeah, cool. Trent's uh, – I, I like Trent as an analyst, too. Yeah. So, uh, they were all great. It was a uh, pretty good talent lineup. They had the full squad, little mm -hmm. bits of almost every – piece of the pie there i i very entertained by the panel i thought there was some banter some not banter some good kind of analysis the outside uh, interviewer who did it with the teams was pretty damn awesome and yeah. hype and hot as me no <laughs> those were, they i actually was surprised how many of those interviews from dac they actually played for the super major because some of it was outdated yeah because they got dated they got no one fast. no one talking about how bad liquid was i think we have that clip right? that is so funny how that worked out yeah too. and then they lost he, like, the way he said it <laughs> I mean, no one. Yeah, bad. I will say that no one maybe wasn't at his prime interview potential, but you know they knew ahead of time they had to do these interviews. Yeah. Anyway, it was recorded. <laughs> yeah. Well before the super major. So at DAC. We do not blame this. no one for that. Yeah. I don't think Liquid was actually doing very well when he was interviewed. They didn't even give me questions. They like just had. I had to just ask questions that didn't pertain to DAC and would hopefully not be dated by the time I got there. Yeah. That's and he tough. was just like, That's Liquid's tough. bad now. Well, and they played it, like, right before... Uh, <laughs> Liquid wins. Yeah. Uh, they oh, they played it right before the VP match? That yeah, they played, okay. they played it before the Grand Finals. Mm. Okay, here it is. What team on the West is the biggest threat to Virtus Pro right now? Who's that guy? Right now. Right now. Uh, and why? They played Secret. it right after they lost them, too. Because Liquid right now is bad. <laughs> I don't know why. They're just Secret, Secret already they're got eliminated. Liquid's, Liquid's, like, in the finals. That's so good. You know what he means? You know what he means is, like, because Liquid are not playing at their full potential. Well. Would be probably uh, the politically correct answer he, you know, you would put out there. But he's a very, no one's a very honest, very straightforward guy. And, you know, Liquid were not at their best at that time. But, All right. Hit us know. with the next clip. We got some stage and, like, other stuff, right? Oh, yeah, let's get the main stage stuff. Here we go. Here, a little walk out. snap. I'm not feeling the music, but it looks, looks cool. This is the same music I'd rather have fall to your knees and pray. This looks cool. Very cool. Where is this at? Do you know what arena or whatever? No. I don't think it's the same place as DAC. Looks cool, though. Next. I've seen better. Late game two. But they just showed Ooh, with other dominance that they are the superior team. Looks like CI, you know. Yeah, Ooh. yeah I mean, it looks official. We got the sound poof poof. We got the admin in there. And he's got the you know in ear going. Can they even celebrate? So They've won so much. Her player camera. Look, they're happy, really but it's like, like how they, they got the they you know, whole nine yards <laughs> for esports. Something we talked about a bit, like when you can win or have these really close games oh, with the drop deficit, that's that like, is, that's that what you're going to do. Like a like very tight arena. A, that is like an assembly hall almost. VP has done that. They've also stomped the games they should stomp. This one here, they did not give Secret a single inch at any point in this game. Team, team. Okay. That was actually a lot smaller than I thought. 
I thought DAC looked much more massive. That looked actually pretty, yeah, pretty small. Next huh. clip, hit us. <laughs> oh, cool. Is he dabbing? Super okay. Dondo. So they all got capes and play around with your capes. Dad too. All those fails, I guess. A team who has endured a roller coaster of a season enters the Super Major with a brand new player. The iconic CIS organization <laughs> made the bold move to bring in new blood so close to TI8. Was it one risk too many or a stroke of genius? We're about to find out. So okay, not a huge fan of the voice guy. Um, nah. I, but here, let me let me let me <sighs> say, when you make a video like this, it is really easy for it to be cringy. If you make them looking serious and whatever, oh oh, oh pause this for a sec because I want to actually hear the audio for this later. But um, it's good if yeah, it's if you make it intentionally goofy, then it doesn't matter what the players do. Because it's like, they're going to be goofy. So you can be like, oh, we intended it to be fun and like goofy. I don't think it should have been goofy or fun. I like the it's comic. It's hard to I be like, serious, though. It's hard. Like, comics are goofy, though. That's what they are. There's a lot of humor in comics. There is. There's some comics that are humorous, I guess. I don't know. I felt like it was a little too silly. Maybe they gave the players a little too much freedom, or maybe they didn't give quite enough direction. But uh, listen, listen to this one. This, one. this one's really funny. All right. Not for the reason you think, though. Nothing short of top four here would ensure them a place at the international. But with the green wall behind them, everything is impossible. Making their seventh appearance on the pro circuit. Wait, what? With the green wall behind them, everything is impossible. The easiest, it's nothing is impossible. He's what's supposed to say, but he said everything is impossible. <laughs> Sorry, Optic. That makes it You're funny. out from the start. Yeah, that makes it funny, yeah. <laughs> everything, everything is impossible. When you're with Optic... There's no chance. <laughs> That's yeah, ridiculous. so I think this was one of the weaker points of the Super Major. I think you uh -huh. know, everything else was pretty great. I think these were you did know, they do okay any like cosplay competitions, musical performances? I believe like there that? were. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't think I have clips of those. I just want to like add that to like the you know you got the major event. You got to have a little bit of extracurricular um, activities going on. I think there was a musical. I, I don't. I didn't get to watch all of it because some of it was like pretty late. The times were really the, yeah. for a lot of these events. The times were pretty rough for us here in the states. Well but, uh, overnight. Okay, so do how many clips we got left, Kevin? We got a few more. Okay, okay. hit us with the next one. Snap! Let's keep the clips going. We're sitting back in the rune spawn, and they didn't pick them up at all. For that's forty-five minutes. That's a lot of gold. And he was like, "I'll just pick up all four. <laughs> and they win the game after that. So. Four. Yeah. He picks up runes, and you give him the MVP. <laughs> the runes. 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 Sorry, the runes. Is that better now? Have I, yeah. have I got that? Ooh. Okay. So Tim's gets the MVP. I love the, the information on here, but it <laughs> terrible. Kind of weird I, spots, I don't know. I, but so damn, that's sick. That was a meme uh, of uh, well. By the way, picking up four runes is honestly one of the best feelings ever in Dota now. Yeah. When your team gets all four, so I understand. Um, but that that was a clip of Bulldog giving the MVP to someone uh, for just picking up runes, and they gave it to him. Okay. Which is okay. funny because like they, it's not serious. It's not like oh, we gotta have an actual MVP. This needs to be serious analysis, statistics based on this. I'm like, oh, we give someone MVP for runes, sure. You know, that's, I think like uh, you know, it's a funny contrast because there's just so much information. It's so like presented as a certain way, but yeah. then it's just Mimi. So, um, I it's think that's, it appeases both sides. It's like, all right, for all you yeah. serious stat nerds out there, like here's the wealth of information for you to kind of deduct who you think is actually MVP, but then yeah. the lighthearted people and, can get their meme. You know, PGL is known for their new production features, all that extra stuff, the three lane cameras, all that kind of stuff. And they're really good at that. Um, if you were to say a weakness about PGL, it would be that they almost overstat stuff and their graphics are usually too busy yeah they are um, they, they there's just so much crap cleaner. on it and you're just like what is happening yeah. right so just like you know roll it back a bit anyone Clean. watching on mobile doesn't have 1080p yeah a lot of stuff on there that's hard you know? to see um for sure. just like it's it's very much like uh remember like battle view remember battle view yeah so, i mean that was so much like immediately you saw the spoofs yeah. and parodies come out from so it. I, I think pgl learned a lot i think they they're obviously technically one of the best um it looks 
everything about this major looked, in my opinion, pretty pretty good. Do it they deserve pretty... to have the super major next season? Yes, okay. I think by all by all uh, by all accounts, the super major was amazing. Okay. I, we are trying to nitpick an event that everyone kind of yeah. enjoyed. Yep. So I I, think I right don't now, want yeah. the the chat to think that we are. Um, criticizing them no, really I because mean, i think that this event was amazing you need to have a um, big spectacle a live event pgl have the experience to do it and they're definitely doing it better than anyone else who can kind of run that in the scene other events had definitely had their peaks and maybe have done things better than the super major but overall like i don't think anyone else is going to be able to do it as well as pgl yeah like one big presentational basket and then they might get some ideas or get influenced by some other things during the season all right, bring us, it to their own game. Hit us with the next clip. What is, what is the next clip? Hit us clip? with the next clip. <laughs> content? Oh, they did have content. Ready for this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, is this from the... Chi that's from the Chinese content team. No, no, no. There was Isn't some... It, uh, or is that PGL? I, I think, think that's that was, PGL. Because that's... That, there was some... Uh, there was some stuff with, like, the non-Chinese teams and stuff, so... Well, I don't they know. did that for DAC as well, and we, we didn't even know like the shock gaming bits happened, but they put it on. But but that they, they definitely have that's a funny good. sense of humor. You know, yeah, yeah that's 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 funny. I like um, that. I like that, that. And it's not you know, whoever did it, it's not the, you know, do some concept and have them run for ten minutes. It's it's like relatively short, relatively fun. A lot of players involved, goofy stuff. I I like that. What um, was that though? What was that? They part had a of bunch a game? of. Yeah, they had a bunch of people sitting down and doing like random asking, little game like, things. Yeah, again. like okay. they had people like getting kind of hit in the face with pies and you know a bunch of stuff, wearing funny hats. Uh, so you know, I I like that. I think that that was good. I think that's an improvement over previous content pieces that they've done. Um, yeah. And you know, the players look like they're having fun too. Um, so you know, just want to show some of the content pieces that are going on. Let's yeah, they're see. doing it. I'm, I'm glad they have it. It's it's. There's Next. definitely other events that just like keep it all super straight and don't even have the extra content, the extra yeah. little bit of fun. Next clip, let's see. Looking for those tier fours. BKB pop from Illidan. and he wants to stand his ground. Keep on pushing. Can the three of EG do anything to stop this? Oh, this no. Is S4 pops to the, the demonic head. Crit will this manage EG to get holding the stun onto the Oh yeah. Oh god. How, can these how crazy have this worked out? They're two new fly. imports of the ones the holding the everything down. They can't do it. AK He's all dead. Old Prince out of this fly, getting chased, but maybe they can hold the game on EG. The ult comes out onto the shadow even FNG rips the shreds. Create win this game. Doing it old school, doing it EU style. Yeah. They're holding onto the game. Oh, I think it was like they're they're actually though. gonna hold onto the game. Kurt had plus 400 damage. Walks up. All right, so obviously the most important moment in the entire Super Major just happened because that was EG winning. So for the sure. biggest, most important thing, EG EG won. Amazing place. Yeah. I feel like they have the potential to win TI. Yep. If you're just watching that game in that moment alone. Yeah. So <laughs> don't watch anything else after that. Yeah. Just this game. That was the finals. Yeah. You know? Use that moment there to help drive the hype for the open quarter. That was the only that's the come. only gameplay clip we're gonna show. Yeah. All right. No no other game. who cares about other, it was other hard teams? Finding other highlights. This, this is the best, <laughs> you know. So next lots of low lights though. You know? Trying to counter it with the last big tinker. Yeah, you, you actually oh, yeah. mentioned Tinker's one of the I love that transition, by the way. Oh, the tip game. The seven man Ame tips coming in. Everyone is hyped to see Ame play some gyro culture. Oh, this is going to be like an eight man cast, I feel. <laughs> It really normal is. And normal we just gotta be silent. So what's the, the verdict on that, by the in. way? Yeah. I we, we have not yet casted minutes. much with yeah, the new chat you, wheel and all the players having it. But what do you like about like the, are people the just loving it because it's like uh, the M and they love the tipping? Is it distracting the, at all? The players are getting very annoyed. The players are getting annoyed. Yes. Really? With the tipping and stuff like that? Yeah, the tipping and the spamming of the chat lines, the players do not like that. Really? They want to block. They mute everyone on the other team. Uh, I did see. I think at one point they even tried to mute one of the teams from the broadcaster perspective. Just, yeah. I think they even muted VP one game. So, uh, I think there needs to be a cooldown. A cooldown? <laughs> yeah. Like once someone uses it, there does it, need to be a cooldown. You need like a few seconds. You can't even enjoy the voice land because they kind of, they it, double they, spam. Yeah, they spam like, it with a the lot. echo. So, look, I like anything that allows a player to show some personality. Yeah. Now, taunting for obviously sure. they won't type stuff but that they can do stuff like they would 
like when Optic was playing EG, they'd be like tipping Sumail, and he'd like always say something, you know. He like when PPD got a solo kill on crit, he tipped them. I mean, that's you know, that stuff is that great. That says more though than even some like just people saying like, yeah, exactly. You know, Fuck you. They're it's not gonna like, they're not gonna type it in. Him, tip them. Yeah, and then and then like the <laughs> voice line and everything. It oh is fucking good. It's I hope so they leave spicy. some of that in. It's so spicy. Yeah. I love how spicy it is, but it, some people can't handle the spice. They can't handle that kind of heat. You, they're on a bad game, and then you crush them for like the third straight gank, and then they're like, hey, here's 100 on me, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Ooh, the tipping. Oh. The tipping is great. I By the way, it. the number one thing to do in the beginning of a game really is uh, you five men go into their jungle before the horn in turbo or whatever, and you... You tip them right before you gank them. Oh my that's God. the that's the next level stuff. You're like, about to gank someone and you tip the, them. It's almost like fall for the first blood, buddy. And they'll be like, they'll be like, wait a second, why is he tipping me? Are they coming to gank? And then you're dead. You know? Oh, bro, thanks for the ganked. You gotta <laughs> do it before. To, trying to yeah. That's also, the next they're level. They're probably typing back, and you catch them while they're typing. Yeah, you you tip them, and then they'll be like, they're trying to like, why did you tip me? And then you question mark, or they're trying to type, and they're getting ganked at the same yeah. time. That's the that's the next level play. You gotta do it before. Nice. Um, nice. So that's the next level. We're waiting for the pro teams to do that yet? You know? I think they like it too. I want to say that I saw like Bruno like talk about the tipping, and he like no, he this, loved it. Anything that shows player personality in game is a really big upgrade over. Not seeing their faces, not seeing anything. They yeah. don't really react, you know. Are they this humans? is like, yeah. This is them. Uh, this is the same as NBA players yelling and fist pumping after a dunk. Mm -hmm. This is essentially what it is. Because you're not gonna see them jump out of their chairs and celebrate because mm -hmm. they gotta mm -hmm. focus on the game. But they can just drop a tip in there or yeah. a or a chat wheel line. So I like it. Adjustments could be made. Yeah. The cooldown thing, like you mentioned, I think should help. But we'll, we'll have to see. The next level, please. God, I love those lines. Yeah. Next, hit it. Oi, 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 oi. PGL. Oh my god, the ad. No, we support we support PGL here. Yeah, we support PGL and of course we support the Elgato Stream Link deck right here as you can yeah. see. If you're a streamer and you want to be able to hit those hotkeys from the ease and convenience of this little touchpad winning. with custom streams, you can check out the deck link. What an incredible the winning moment. Liquid do it again. They did an amazing run too. They only lost the games to VP at the end, at least in their playoff run. 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. Damn. So many finals, so much disappointment. They're good, man. The They're favorite really good. going into TI, almost certainly. Certainly, yeah. like them, VP, Secret. You know, I would say until a team beats Liquid when it matters, they're probably the favorite. Three zero over VP. That's a statement, you know. That would be a huge statement. I think that uh, three zeroing VP is better for VP than if VP had won. Now, really, Votus Pro as well. You gotta give him some. I think they need the motivation, dude. Yeah. But Team Liquid, they have I'm trying to think the equivalent of, and I feel bad, sorry Dota people, for someone to power, like, if they were the Sonic Fox, Hook Game God would be, Team like, Liquid. Optic. Mm, yeah, I think maybe Optic. It'd be, like, Optic 3-0 three, three Liquid in the yeah. final. Like, no one would expect that. So, Liquid, uh, their reputation now is essentially that they were kind of mailing it in, or, like, not trying as hard as they could throughout the year, and they're kind of trying to peak at TI. And this this kind of like aligns with that storyline, you know. Lord Liquid did really well, but you know when it matters, they're at their best. They are and the really super good. major biggest event right before TI, Liquid three O's crushes through the entire tournament. I think uh, this team is the favorite for TI. I think that's just. Oh, I gotta say, this is not. This is kind of weak for a super major trophy celebration. It is. Uh, they they saved most of the confetti in case LGD won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they right. Already, they certainly did. They, did, they certainly like, okay, guys, pull back the girls, pull back the musical performance. Oh, look at the translator, man. He's back again. Dude, he is tall. He is tall. Because Shiver's like 6'2". Yeah, Shiver's an Amazon. That guy's like 6'4", 6 6'5". 6 yeah, he's, he's my he's height for sure. Yao Ming. He helped me in those interviews. Jesus. He's, he's a cool guy. That guy is. But I feel like the celebration at the end was kind of weak for a super major, but whatever. I, you, I mean, confetti check, trophy check, <laughs> music check. Sure. Yeah. All right. Next clip. That was okay. Oh, that's, that's it? it? All right. And Shiver out Look, there doing it herself. Props to her, the co-hosting. I think, okay, so there's not actually much to analyze about the Super Major because I don't actually think they made a lot of mistakes. I think it was pretty amazing. They let the game speak for themselves. It's good. It's good. Um, I actually, the one thing I want to mention is the break music. Have you watched the break music? Not really. It is like a loop of uh, oh, tourist no. stuff oh. from TI. Oh, you're right. Or from, yes. from like the yes. outside like of Chinese. There's some guy book. with some girl. Yeah, like. and... <laughs> And the music is what like is this that? super hype 
like oh that doesn't work. electronic music yeah. and it's really funny to watch because it's like is a zombie outbreak about to happen or something because oh, like i'm watching i'm just awkward. like holy shit this is hype yeah. um so you know i personally if i had to nitpick something that's probably the case but if i were to grade this this is a solid a to a plus i think right. i'm doing a minus i, I mean you're fair. you're harder than me I'm so. a little stricter, I think, on this one. Because is it because they have more points to available? And they're I, I think it's just like it's the super major, and there's definitely been other events that have done some things better. I've seen better trophy presentations, better, a little bit better graphic overlays at stuff. Um, maybe some had better meme content, but overall, I think PGL super major they hit all the marks that were necessary to have a successful event. It lived up to the hype, like you said. The games kind of. I think they get help bonus and, and points for themselves. the format. The format worked. Yeah, no best of ones. Format uh, worked. You get Dota for a full two weeks. Mm-hmm. It's best of threes every single day. Great panel, great whatever. I think that yep. counts for something. Even it though does. we're trying to evaluate outside of the game, the fact that they handled the in-game stuff pretty much better than any other event. Um, all the other stuff is extra. Um, I would say I would say probably like after you you said a little bit, I, I'd probably give it an A, maybe not an A plus. Um, but still. A lot of big expectations to live up to compared to DAC. I think this event was uh, on par or better. So that's that's high praise. I think yep. that PGL did a great job. I think they deserving pat on the back. Yep. Um, Likely to do plenty more events in the future and yeah. in the future season, I imagine. They do good stuff. Yeah, so PGL, great job. Uh, last event, you know, we're done. DPC's over. DPC's uh, now, over. Now we got TI. Now we got TI. Big, big qualifier starting really soon. Very tonight. soon. Dude, I'm casting tonight. tomorrow. Tonight. Open qualifiers tonight. Well, that'll, that'll be covered on BTS. We'll be able to watch and follow the open Starts qualifier teams. Southeast Asia, I think. I believe so, yes. It's Either that or China. And then I'll be uh, doing NA Opens with my boy Lacoste. He's flying out today. Me and him in the flesh are going to be trucking on through some NA Opens. I'm sure side by side with Grant. Um, so it's going to be awesome. I'm looking yeah. forward so to it. So let's uh, get hyped for that. It's just we're rolling right through, you know. Yeah, Super are. Major's over. We're <laughs> into qualifiers. Yeah, so, um, exciting. All exciting. Right. So, before we go, um, I got to talk about uh, what's coming up. We have a new podcast. Oh, yeah. A new podcast right after this. It's called uh, BTS Love Yourself. Mm-hmm. It will be a podcast about, about Dota, about relationships, about a lot of different things. A little bit um, of something different. Basically, we get a lot of uh, questions from readers in our Discord and in our you know, general contact. And now, uh, you know, we want to, uh, we want to answer a few of those questions. So, uh, it'll, it'll have, um, you know, some me, Flosh, uh, Danica, who's our social media person talking and answering these questions from readers. That's, uh, essentially the format of the show. So that'll come up right after this. Nice. Um, nice. so you're going to get to hear some questions about, uh, should I play Dota with my boyfriend or girlfriend? I mean, they'll, oh my God. About there, it. There's definitely some questions that people have and then they didn't, they're, there are questions they didn't know they have, and then they would love the answers on this kind of show. Yeah, so for sure. you guys are going to be able to hear some fun stuff about that. That'll be right after this. But if you want to ask questions, if you want to give us feedback on this, on the next show, on all their other podcasts, uh, Movie Buffed and you know Interview Series, all that kind of stuff, Breaky, Breaky's yep. podcast, Breaky's um, which still is holding tomorrow, down. I believe. Um, yep. uh, make sure to join our Discord. That's discord.gg slash BTS. Um, join it. You know, sub to us. You get some fun channels and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Buy, some, buy some of our gear. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, uh, that's, so Love Yourself's coming up right after this. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll see you. Uh, when's the next one of these we're going to do? We'll have to see. This could be the closing of the series. No, we got to do a post qualifier one. Come on. TI preview post qualifier one. Fair enough. Fair get Parker enough. up in here. Yeah. Okay, so maybe not. We're almost there, though. We're yeah. almost the closing of the season. I can't believe we're already here. We knew this was coming. We started this show to talk about almost... We almost covered every event right. all along the way. So the full library is there if you want this to check a full it out. This is the first podcast I didn't discontinue. Nice. So I'm... Look, I did one with Blitz and Purge. We stopped that one. Did one with Slacks. Stopped that one. We're still going strong. We're still going. So, you know, shout-outs to uh, not giving up. Dedication. Yeah, so... Uh, we will, you know, be looking, uh, looking at chat um, for the next episodes of stuff. Yep. So feel free to like get in there. All um, right, guys. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one. See you. Bye bye now.